Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. WWE's YouTube channel has found great success by uploading individual segments from their weekly TV. Unfortunately, they sometimes edit out the best parts. The Usos rap battle joke about Xavier Woods and Paige, Big E joking about how many times Charlotte's won the title, and everyone booing Roman Reigns. Now, Max Landis, who sometimes works as a creative consultant for WWE, has pointed out another recent edit. Heading into Samoa Joe vs Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire, Paul Heyman cut a great promo building up the Beast Incarnate's opponent, memorably calling Joe the worst case scenario. But in that promo, Paul said something else. I look at my client's opponents and I get concerned. That's what I do as a Jew. Sadly, that line, which got one of the biggest pops from the crowd, was edited from WWE's YouTube upload. In response to Landon, this calling this weird earlier this week, Heyman himself has now replied on Twitter. Some people have a hard time dealing with my superior intellect, especially when they realize it comes from having a Yiddish kapala. And that's not the only interesting wrestling exchange that's been had on Twitter this week. Warning, the levels of troll here are dangerously high. On the final night of New Japan and Ring of Honor's joint War of the World show in May, the villain Marty Skull was on veiled as the latest member of the Bullet Club, kicking out Adam Cole in the process. And now, several months later, Skull has seemingly invited someone else to the faction, posting the Bullet Club logo on Twitter, but in the design of CM Punk's Best in the World shirt. Earlier in the day, Marty's fellow Bullet Club members, the Young Bucks, had tweeted a similar design to the straight-edge superstar himself. The difference being that Punk's beloved home town Chicago, Illinois, was at the bottom rather than Skull's best in the world text. It turns out the design is actually the official New Japan Bullet Club Chicago shirt from Pro Wrestling Tees, which is only available in the site's new Chicago store that's opening in October. Pro Wrestling Tees is also the official merchandise store for CM Punk. Sadly, this is most probably just a cool t-shirt design playing on Punk's WWE ring gear, which the Bullet Club have decided to troll fans online with. In a YouTube Q&A earlier this year though, the Bullet Club did get asked about whether they'd invite Punk to join their faction, to which Matt Jackson replied, I think he's probably the only guy left that I would probably let into the Bullet Club, and Hulk Hogan. I talked to Punk, he's my buddy, we text every now and then, but I told him, whenever you want to come back, please text me and somehow we'll make this work out. And Punk and Hogan might not be the only wrestlers the Bullet Club have an open invite for. In episode 65 of their Being the Elite show on YouTube, a wild Kevin Owens appears! It's super effective! As Matt and Nick Jackson walk the streets of Montreal. And then shortly after, a wild Sami Zayn appears and asks for the time. Which pretty much confirms Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens and CM Punk are all joining the Bullet Club as part of an invasion faction in WWE, right? Please? Anybody? Vince McMahon is reportedly furious with Shinsuke Nakamura. And has the SummerSlam main event winner been leaked? Click the videos to find out more, press subscribe, and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was wrestling.